Hi, I'm Katya. Welcome back to Total Recall, a show where we talk about real experiences that may or may not have happened at some point in the past. We're both confronting our own reality of a thing, of that, of that thing. You need to say it out loud. Say stop, something happened. <laughs> what is helping me is I'm trying to go forward in, in, in time and realize you have to edit this shit. They brought everybody back. At this point, it's a reality TV convention that has been not necessarily beaten to death, but certainly massaged a little too hard. In the mirror, there were figures, which light made exposed. The visages of the girls become clear. There is an indicated moment of mm, drama via music that the show produces. We watch with our eyeballs, they stick to the screen, and those eyeballs are met by the eyeballs of the girl. All together, ten eyeballs. Quick clarification. Ten pairs of eyeballs minus those of a door she walked out. Stand-up comedy routine duos. Um, I don't remember what, what the rules were, but I know that my right eye is twitching again and that Roxy Andrews is, has, has the seemingly insurmountable task of hosting the show. Now, which if you've never hosted a show before in your life, this is exactly Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest could be a Nazi. No, 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 no. I'm, I mean, listen to me. I'm not saying he is though. I don't think that he is, I doubt it. Um, but he could be if he wanted to. Why? Because it's the ability to fake it until you make it. Now, what if you're only trying to fake it? What if you're trying to fake it and then you're so good at faking it that you convince people what you're trying to make is actually something very different than what you're actually trying to make? That's fascism. Oh, stand-up comedy. Okay, okay. So the eliminated queen chooses their part. This is actually, I don't even remember. I don't even remember. Each pair is tasked with coming up with an original Two or three minutes of stand-up comedy. Could be anything. Anything to get the judges and the audience to laugh. Live audience. Was it a live audience? I can't recall. I would submit that in the context of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 2, this is the challenge that separates the men from the boys. Notice I didn't say men from the turtles, because we're all human. Or in the context of Drag Race, let's say the women from the girls. Now, nothing wrong with a girl. I love girls. But girls are not yet women. Who are the women? Let's find out. That was, those are binoculars. I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> Roxy Andrews. Uh, so she's not a comedian. She's not. A, she's not. A, uh, she's not a powerful public speaker. What is she good at? Fucking good as hell at drag. She gets tasked with being the host. Kawabunga, I hope you believe in Jesus Christ. Alyssa and Alaska, a seemingly unstoppable duo. Fifi and Coco, the fucking odd couple from heaven or hell, depending on if you're racist. I don't believe in labels. I fucked a man last night. He happened to be big and he happened to be black. I licked the sweat off his gorgeous ass crack. <laughs> this is the good and the bad. I got good news, I got bad news. What do you want first? Good news. The good news is I have another great interaction with RuPaul in the workroom. The bad news is they'll probably cut it because we end up being safe, spoiler alert. So RuPaul tries to trick me. I know that's what's happening because the way, when the workroom is not just a helpful powwow, no, it's television. So Rue says, now you and Ginger are both funny girls. Are you afraid at all that your senses of humor might cancel each other out? And I was like, what? I was like, oh, I know what she's doing. I know what that shady human monster's trying to do. And I say to Rue, I was like, Rue, I'm not like a mathematician or nothing, but I'm pretty sure that like one plus one equals two, not zero. And she laughed. Kudos me, good one. Uh, Ginger and I describe our plan to Rue. It's like some kind of Ru Russian male or bride thing, Southern pageant girl. It's like, it's like a buddy comedy. It's like Mork and Mindy. It's like uh, bacon and eggs. It's like whack, 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 lesbians. So she tries to trick me, of course, and, but I'm smart now. Now Ruby's like, so now you guys, it sounds like you guys are playing characters. I'm a little concerned about that. Why don't you just be yourself? Which, now that is the exact opposite advice that Rue had offered to me in a previous season. So girl, we're going around the block. The chickens are following. They're all coming home to roost. Things are happening. We're connecting the dots and dying the T's and walking the eyes. Whack, 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 iced tea. So like, I'm not falling for that either. We, we go full steam ahead, Ginger and I. This fan is a symbol. Okay, this fan is a symbol. In this context, it's a symbol. It provides relief, but it also creates a distraction and a disruption. How many things in your life can you think of are like that? You like cake or you don't like cake? <laughs> Not a very good, it's a leading question because she is saying cake as if it's like dog shit. So Ginger and I perform a serviceable routine and I finally, this is, this is the fulfillment of a regret I had from season seven. So this is where Rukal comes to the aid of regrets. Dun, 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 dun. Correcting the mistakes of the past via time travel. It's not easy, but it's very rewarding. A joke I wanted to say in season seven was, um, oh, 
I just flew in from Russia and boy are my arms covered in track marks. It's a good joke. So I got to say it. It was the only joke that I was really proud of. They laughed. We got safe. I thought that was fair. Alaska and Alyssa were in the top. Alaska and Alyssa's routine. I, I mean, this is where you start to see the artistry and the, and then the elegance of Alyssa and Alaska. What is Alaska? Well, above all things, first and foremost, smart. What is Alyssa? Uh, first and foremost, above all things, crazy. It takes a smart person to, to massage, coordinate, organize, and then disseminate crazy in a skillful way. That was, I mean, that was a gold medal routine. I mean, she is just, you know, my hat tips off in a major way to Alaska today. And of course to Alyssa, who was expertly directed by Alaska. Another fucking shocking twist. Does anybody have, not really whiplash, but, oh. Does anybody have, not really like whiplash, but maybe herpes? I do. So uh, that means Alyssa comes back, but then Tatiana comes back. I don't know why. I know she does. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But I know that Phoebe goes and it's weird. Okay, so Alyssa yeah. and Tatiana lip sync. I think, I don't, I, I honestly don't remember. I mean, that's what makes the series so good. We can't call anybody. I'm, this is illegal for me to talk to you about it. It's illegal. So one thing that we had sort of thought about doing for this web series is um, including in each episode um, a false memory. Something from my past that I remember to be a thing, but that I have discovered at some point is not actually a thing. Unfortunately, we, still, we haven't done that at all, but why not? Any time in life is a time to change. So at episode five, we're gonna change. So two things. I remember um, not eating pizza for a really long time because I had this memory, this vivid, vivid memory of throwing up at Pizza Hut. And I, that never happened. One of the joys of my life is reconnecting with the love and pleasure of eating pizza. So well, that's number one. Number two, I, um, my, ne my neighbor, Craig Norgren, who is now in the Air Force. My neighbor was in the Air Force. That that's a tie-in, um, a throwback, a way back, a dingle back, gray back, a silver back. Shh. My neighbor Craig, I have this memory of him talking about the movie E.T. I didn't like that movie for whatever reason and I refused to watch it, just like I refused to watch Mean Girls all the way through. I'm just not interested. So he wouldn't shut up about E.T. This obviously was way back in the day. Back in the day buffet, mix 98.5 is better than 94.5, but that's neither here nor there. Craig, I kicked, I need him in the balls. I used my knee. Jingle jangle, he knew I was coming. Um, I, I need him in the balls. So out of character for me, such a violent turning point, such an incongruous behavioral moment in my life. And then I remember his father driving a truck, a Jeep, up a hill with me in it. No, don't know why I was in there. And he said, you know, we don't need people in the balls. It's not nice. I swear to God that happened. Actually, I think that did happen. I can't quite recall. Ah! Oh yes, God! <laughs> Talked to Laganja Isranja this morning for one whole hour about weed. She is the wizardess of weed. Okay, that was Total Recall. Now listen, the disclaimer halfway through, just like any other time, goes as follows. I don't know if that happened. That's what I remember, and I, but I care about it. Join us next week. If in the next 10 minutes I can figure out if I actually need Craig Norgren in the balls, I'll let you know. Or if you're Craig Norgren, please include that in the comments. For the record, I think that, that you're a wonderful person. I don't know if that's actually true, but I, that's my suspicion. Um, so thanks for being a neighbor, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> so look, you see that? I want to show people that. I'm pretty in shape, and there's hair there because I'm a man, but I want to see that. And then I want to show them this. It's pretty taut. There's muscular, um, there's musculature underneath the layer of fat. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you reaching for? Melina, stop! I'm in love with you. That was pretty good. Yeah. Melina, stop! If 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 crazy things happen to this environment we are in, the glass will crack and we will go out into the Martian atmosphere, and then our eyes will bug out because Paul Verhoeven has a taste for sleaze and gore. I don't remember literally at all. That means I'm growing and moving on, this is good.